Hello Aquarius Pisces. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate each and every one of you. The likes, the comments, the views, subscribers. Thank you, thank you. So if you're new to my channel, the oracle cards go here. The tarot cards go here. These are all for you. These are the people around you, but you could show up over here as well. So I read the cards. You decide how they apply to you or your situation. And just take what you can use and leave what doesn't connect. So feel free to vice versa, the masculine and feminine, so the king and the queen in the cards. And welcome cross watchers, which are people who watch your loved one's videos. So let's get started. The first one is 35, help appears in various ways. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift you forget to look at the support systems that are with you continually. This is the parrotfish. The parrotfish is really strong in the mouth that it can use its teeth to break coral into sand. So I do feel like you have a very strong communication technique or tool. Something about you is strong. So you just need to communicate to people clearly what you need help in. And of course, if it doesn't connect with a couple people, you have to keep going until it connects with the right people. But there is people around you that can help you. You're very strong. So the next one is 24, love where you are. Use your creativity to know when to act. Connect your heart to your head when determining what you would like. This is the giant clam. So this talks about in the book that the giant clam knows how to get rid of dirty water and siphon clean water into it. It knows how to deflect neg negativity. So this is very powerful saying you're where you are for a reason. So help is coming to you. Maybe it's going to be help that is meant to help you that's going to be in your life for a long time is what I'm feeling. I do feel like you're going through a lot of up and downs with some emotions right now. Maybe some stomach issues is what I'm picking up that you're just like, oh my gosh, I don't know why my stomach feels twisted is what I feel. Just like stomach issues. Alright, so the first one of the Chakra Wisdom deck is Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands to me is somebody in warrior mode. Somebody who has their guard up. They fought really hard for where they are and they're not about to just release it to anybody. So the Wheel of Fortune obviously is new beginnings. Some cycle changing. Something that is going to give you new energy, give you new happiness, um, new direction. And then you have King of Cups. So King of Cups is the king to me that is codependent. Um, I know a lot of readers don't see that, but that's how I pick up this card. I mean, look at his face in there. So he can wander around wherever he wants, but whoever he's with has to stay within the spires of his chair there. So he is, you know, he takes more than he gives. So then you have the Hierophant. Wow, so the Hierophant is really strong spirituality, I feel. Somebody connecting with somebody through... Um, telepathy, dreams, somebody having very powerful connection from past life connection and they're trying to connect so let's keep going because see what else, Knight of Coins so Knight of Coins is somebody younger than you coming in to offer something which would make something stable so it could be a job, a partnership in a, in a business, partnership on a arrangement to live somewhere, uh, use of a car, somebody's coming in to offer you something that is going to make you feel less stressed. So then you have Queen of Coins. So you have Knight of Coins and Queen of Coins. So this could be a power couple but there is a very very obvious um, age difference. Feel free to vice versa masculine and feminine if it's the other way around. But there's two people, age doesn't matter. Some people are here to specifically show the world the age difference. The age doesn't matter when it comes to love. So justice. Justice is Libra placement. This is balance. So something's going to balance out concerning the codependent person here. So maybe they really love you, but they're really going to get control of their emotions. And then Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords, where somebody is against your spirituality. Wherever the spirituality is, 
for you or somebody around you, there's somebody who is against it, very vindictive about it. And because we have the, liber the liberty, the Libra Justice card before the vindictiveness, I feel like the universe is protecting you before this person comes in and starts throwing their swords down, so to speak. So King of Swords. So there's a lot of energies in here. There's a lot of um, opposite energies around you. So you have King of Swords. You have Knight of Coins. And the Knight of Cups, I guess. So there's just two. Or three, because now we have the King of Swords. So yeah, there's three energies around you. The King of Swords is somebody who wants to communicate. Somebody who's very good at communicating. Um, they're usually honest. They are very, what's the word I'm looking for, well-traveled usually. So then you have six of coins. So you have queen of coins and six of coins. So coins are coming to you. The universe feels like you're faded, something that is coming into you to help you be stable. I feel like your help is coming in. So then you have two of coins. So two of coins talks about being stable. I mean being stable, being flexible and compromising. So if you, like, I always say that she has an opportunity to get on this boat and go to Hawaii, but she has three luggages. And they say, ma'am, if you leave one luggage and take two, you can go with us, but you can't bring three luggages. So if she chooses to keep all her luggage, and not go to Hawaii, that's not compromising or being flexible. If she leaves a bag of luggage and goes to Hawaii, that would be flexible and compromising. If you want to go there. So Ace of Wands is somebody sees very high physical attraction with you. Very high physical attraction. So King of Wands. So King of Wands, another king. King of Wands is somebody who is very physical, um multi-skilled to me, somebody who is definitely very focused on intimacy. So I'm going to go to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck for you. And so we have Ten of Sky. So Ten of Sky talks about an ending to where somebody feels like they were backed into a corner, where they feel like people just came at them and kept them stuck somewhere for whatever reason. So the cat, the cat is taking a leap of faith, going in a new direction. So I do feel like the universe and the coins being given to you, you're being pushed and guided to take a leap of faith, to be more flexible and stronger and assured of yourself. So the seven of earth talks about waiting for something that never came through, something that never followed through. So I feel like you were willing to be compromising and flexible in something, but somebody else was not. So then you have Ace of Earth. So Ace of Earth to me is somebody misleading you. So somebody misled you waiting on, they made you think abundance was coming to you. Like you were going to have a family structure, um, life was going to be good, but they really had no intention of following through with that. And then for a fire marriage. So I don't know if somebody feels stuck in a marriage or moving away from it. Or there was an illusion concerning in a marriage, the high priestess. So the priestess talks about healer energy, somebody who is very strong, very high intuition. I feel like somebody's going in a new direction, like they're realizing their spirituality because of something they went through is making somebody more aware and they're becoming more aware. The universe is trying to make somebody more aware of who they are and how powerful they are. So the lovers could be Gemini placement. Is clarifying an illusion. Could be in Gemini, a lover that misled you. And then eight of C is selfishness. So somebody's selfishness just kept you going forward because they had certain things they wanted from you, so they just misled you. So Sky Kitten or Sea Kitten is somebody who's immature, very in and out, very unbalanced. So somebody couldn't commit to a marriage situation, I feel, and death. So an ending to a situation because somebody gained clarity. Somebody got clarity, intuition, and decided, you know, I see the big picture, I see what's going on here, and this has got to stop for whatever reason. So then the next one is the chariot going in a new direction, communication coming in, traveling, moving. 
and then six of fire. So six of fire is somebody who has other people fluff them up. People, they're selfish and they take from other people. They take energy. They take whatever people give them, somebody takes from them. So I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E cards for you now, I think. They've done three. So the first one for you is Jackpot 40. Wow. So you're going to hit at some sort of situation that's going to benefit you in multiple ways. You're going to be able to go in new directions. You're going to feel stronger. And then open your presence 33. So something, Jackpot and presence. Something's going to come full circle for you. Aquarius Pisces that is going to make you very happy and if you weren't where you are this wouldn't be happening so you're where you are for a reason help is around you I feel like it's getting ready to show itself so 17 would be 8 which is infinity to me but I feel like a transformation again where something is going to be clear to you some sort of clarity is coming to you to make you say wow I get it now I totally understand and the next one is Divine Protection. So Divine Protection talks about you're always protected. If you're ever afraid at night or alone or in a dark place in your thoughts and feel like you're alone, you are protected. There's an invisible bubble around you that's protecting you. You're always protected. Even when people make you feel like you're not protected, you are protected. So I feel like a lot of you need to know that or that card would not have came out. So the angels and ancestors for you, Hunter, track down your fears and desires. So this is another card of clarity and transformation, balance, to where you are protected and something I feel like is going to come in your life where you're going to understand how protected you are. Something's going to happen to where you're going to have an aha moment like you're right, I am protected, I get it now. So broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. So the Native Americans would break the arrows when they wanted to make friends with other Native American tribes or um, elected officials or generals and stuff like that. So it talks about you're in the energy of peace right now. You're shifting more into a peaceful cycle than an aggressive defensive cycle. So just keep that in mind that you're not out there to be in an aggressive cycle right now or be having issues with people who are trying to cause drama in your life if that's what's going on. So, beautiful reading. Good things are coming to you. Hang in there. Bless you.